Here's my 1981 Honda Express red flavor. And here is my new cheap carburetor solution. Got it off eBay with a K and N filter that I had on the QT50. Uh, it's like a 28 or 29 millimeter uh, filter. And there's my BAM spun aluminum gas tank. Had to go to a, uh, a different gas tank because my other one was shot. And here's the other side of the new carburetor. Bolts right up to the stock intake. Gotta love it. Fuel line leading up to the fuel filter, leading up to the new gas tank. One gallon capacity. Call that my Chicago tank. Because I can drive from here to Chicago without stopping for gas. Uh, just showing where I capped off the auto choke hoses. Yeah, turn the key on, dude. And with my new carburetor, after some adjustments, starts right up, usually on the first kick. I discovered... Well, yeah, let's take a quick little ride. I discovered... Uh, on this carburetor, I needed to uh, drill out the idle jet to 0.35 millimeters. It was, um, it must have been something around originally below 0.30 millimeters, maybe 0.25 or right around there. Anyhow, I couldn't get it to, uh, to start up easy or idle right. And after monkeying with it for what seemed like too long, I decided that uh, I must need a bigger idle jet. My old carburetor was, uh, I think the gaskets, it was leaking, it needed new gaskets, uh, which were like uh, 15 or so bucks, not including shipping. And then I read about this carburetor solution, and it's not exactly plug and play, but then again, what is on these mopeds, or no pads for that matter? Nothing is plug and play. Everything takes several hours of work. And uh, of course, a lot of times I compound my own problems. I got rid of the oil injector and plugged it with an expansion plug only to determine the expansion plug kept popping out. Didn't realize that right away until after I was tuning it forever and couldn't get the thing to dial in. So it didn't help that it had an air leak with your, where the expansion plug wasn't fitting tightly. And then um, at some point I swapped out the spark plug with another Express and it didn't tighten this one in right. I had a loose spark plug too. So, yeah, no wonder it wouldn't start. Of course, even after I fixed both those things, uh, still had problems starting and idling right. So I just got out the micro uh, drill bit set. Um, started with a .30 millimeter drill. Yeah, it must have been originally close to .25, because uh, I had a hard time drilling that. And then I tried that, it helped a little bit. I guess he's just parking, man. Take it easy. So I did 0.35, and everything seems to be pretty good so far. Uh, I'm not sure what size the main jet is on this car, but right now, I would say it's dialed in pretty close, and it might even run better than it ever did before with the old stock car. It seems like it has a little better pickup, and I might have gained a mile or two per hour on top speed. I haven't checked to see where the uh, needle jet is, which controls kind of the mid-range of the throttle. Uh, but I'll do that eventually. I'm tired of taking apart and putting that car back together, so we'll just take a break for a while.
Yeah, I think it sounds pretty good. Uh, sure beats the heck out of my other carb solution, which, which was the uh, combination of the uh, Gloro 1515 and the MLM intake. I mean, that's $100. This was less than $16 shipped. It doesn't, I don't have a temperature gauge on it, but it doesn't seem to be running hot at all. It did four stroke a little bit downhill, which is fine. And then later on in the ride, it didn't seem to four stroke at all. Or actually, this is a different ride. I'll GPS it and see if I gained any top speed. So anyhow, if you're looking for a cheap carb solution for the Honda Express, I would think this would work on all years, 77 through 82. Could be wrong though, but uh, anything with a 38 millimeter intake, this just bolts right up out of the box. Some minor adjustments. I have the idle air screw at between a one and a quarter and one and a half turns out. I have the throttle stop screw. I'm not sure. I have to double check that. My next test will be just a cold start. It does have a choke lever on it which right now I've got to just hold up with one hand while I kick start it, uh, which is not very easy. But I don't know, after three or so decades, these auto choke systems kind of lose their effectiveness. Maybe, you know, it just needs cleaning or something, but yeah, just give me a simple car with a manual choke. Honda over-engineered this thing. Uh, the only other thing is at full throttle, my throttle sticks now. So I guess I have a kind of cruise control. Still is a little sluggish in the mid-throttle range. Maybe I'll mess with that later. Kind of had enough of adjusting carburetors. But yeah, uphill, I think I was doing 27, 28 miles an hour uphill here. Horn needs a little help. So yeah, solutions do exist.